Hello friends, welcome to BEC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. If you have any doubt, please comment in the section. Or also you can able to join us in the Instagram page and you can able to ask your doubt. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of entomology. I am going to cover the exopterigota, which is an and isoptera insects. So while seeing the name of the isoptera, iso, which is equal as well as the terra, which is wings. So the meaning of these order group of animals are they use it to have an equal amount of wings. So their common names are termites as well as the white ants. While seeing the characteristics of these group of insects, so they are said to be small grayish white as well as the soft body insect ones, and the body is said to be pale yellow in color in because of the weak sclerotization of their body, and the compound eyes are said to be present in allied forms and uh, they are usually absent in after apterous forms of the insects and the antennae is said to be short as well as the monoliform form of antennae is said to be present and the mouth parts are used to be adapted for biting as well as the chewing and after that they are, while seeing the continuation of characteristics they use it to have a pair of wings which are present uh, which is identical in size form as well as the venation and the wings are said to be membranous one as well as the semi transparent one and the venation is said to be not distinct so not clearly distinct one by our scientists and the veins which is the normal co coastal as well as the anal margin alone are distinct in these insects and the anterior veins are said to be more sclerotized and wings are said to be flexed over the abdomen at wrist and also that these wings are said to be extended beyond the abdomen in these insects and the wings are present only in the sexual matter uh, forms during the swarming season in other season they are said to be absent so wing shedding takes place along with the basal or humeral suture after the swarming from one place to another and the remnant of the stump remaining behind is said to be called as the scale uh, so which is a non wing part of the insect and the abdomen is said to be broadly jointed to the thorax without constrictions and the external genital organs are lacking in both the sexes so and the sessue is said to be short in these types of insects and they use it to have a uh, different glands in these insects so while seeing them the frontal gland which is said to be a sac like gland which is beneath the fronts as well as discharge the secretion through the frontal pore on the surface of the head and the sternal gland which is used to be present in the third and third fourth and fifth of the abdominal steroids used to have sternal glands and these secretion passes out through the fine cuticular pores and use it for forming trials so which you act as a pheromone for the intercommunication of insects and the internal character 6 well, the salivary gland is said to be well developed in these insects and the rectum is distended to form a rectal pouch to accumulate large number of intestinal symbionts so they are said to be known as the flagellate protozoa as well as bacteria so these are the symbionts and the fat body development is said to be extensive in male as well as female reproductives and the fungal garden ligase which is used to digest lignin as well as cellulose to digest cellulose and in case of food sharing, uh, they use it to share from mouth to mouth or anus to mouth food transfer is done by these insects. So those process of transferring is said to be known as prophylaxis. And while seeing the importance of these insects, the termites are used to be act as a natural scavenger. So they use it to convert logs, stumps and branches to humus. So which act as a natural organic matter for the plants. And, uh, but they are said to be many are engineers to crop uh, furniture as well as the woodworks of the buildings mm, and while seeing uh, the termites they are said to be known as the social life forms so in our environment because they act to be live in groups and they used to have a well defined caste system like the Kune, the Kune which is the captain as well as the overall leading group of the colony and the worker one as well as the soldiers so they used to have a well defined caste system and overlapping generation and cooperative life in this environment mm -hmm. and while seeing the different types of castes so the male reproductive as well as the female reproductive soldier worker as well as the winged reproductive so these are the five different castes which are said to be present in the tenement caste so while seeing them the used to have a king termite as well as the cune termite. The cune termite used to lay eggs and which used to the larva and nymph 
and use it to form worker soldier as well as the reproductive one so the reproductive one which used to form uh, a winged reproductive one which is said to be known as the allet and they use it after the swarming process is done they use it to dr it and used to be converted to a king termite as well as the queen termite in this colony so the each group of individual that perform the same function is said to be called as the caste so it's how they are defined so the four distinct castes are said to be known as the king queen workers as well as the soldier one as like as in humans so while seeing them as a majority type we base on the reproduct reproductive ability they are classified into reproductive as well as non reproductive so the late stage of nymphs with the developing wings buds differentiate into reproductive which are seasonally produce larvae and immature without developing wing buds and give rise to the non reproductive which are regularly produced in this group so they may be formed by by means of either sex in these individuals so while seeing about the reproductive the primary one so the primary reproductive uh, where the body is dark and well sclerotized with well developed compound eyes and wings so they are said to be fertile in nature and they are original founders of the particular colony and the secondary reproductive where the body is pale in color because of the post sclerotization and both compound eyes and wings are not said to be well developed they used to replace the primary reproductive when they die and they are called as the supplementary reproductive or the as well as the replacement reproductive which is present inside the colony and while seeing uh, the castrous classification the first one which is uh, intermittently fertilize the queen it helps the queen in the construction of nuptial chamber in the body and it also helps the queen in rearing their first brood in the insect colony and the queen while seeing them there is a single queen in the particular colony after fertilization the queen attains the enormous proportion the abdomen which is to be used to have a blotter one due to the uh, stretching of the internal segment membrane to accommodate the well developed ovary and uh, fat bodies this obesity is said to be known as the pisogastry in odonto terms and the queen is said to be 12 cm long which is used to contains around 5000 ovaries in the abdomen so it used to lay around 5000 ovaries per day and uh, while seeing the non reproductive one so the mini larvae differentiated into workers and other develop into soldiers in that particular colony they are said to be usually blind and apiterous so they are said to be wingless and the workers which is said to be bare the body is soft and admixed better and their mandibles and salivary glands are said to be well developed and they are mainly used to have the work of repair the termitia and four wings and they used to feed the queen king and the soldiers and they used to take care of the eggs as well as the young ones in this particular colony and after that we are going to see about the soldiers there are two types which is the mandibulate as well as the nasted one they are used for defending the colony the mandibulate where they used to have the head is large well sclerotized with the well developed mandibles and the nasted which used to have a nozzle shaped projection at the tip and which used to have a frontal glands in the head and uh, after that we are going to see about the soil termarium so the soil inhabited termites which used to construct their third mouth in the field is said to be known as the termitary the purpose of the mound is to production living as well as the storing of their food material and in the structure they ca- can be classified as the royal cell brood c- brood cells fungal garden as well as the forage tunnel so it's how the inner side of the termitary used to be look like so you can able to see the upper surface is said to be made up of uh, outer wall and they used to composed of the ventilation shafts and they also have a chimney um, and from that where you can able to see the fungus combs where the food is said to be done and they use also contain the stored foods and below that they used to have a nursery gallery and the final one where they used to see the royal cells and below that there is a brood chamber so it's how the termitary used to be happen in these colonies so i have given the lecture notes in description if you have any doubt please comment in the section or join us in the instagram page and you can able to ask your doubts if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch you up in next videos